back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our July 7th fishing report for the Jersey Shore, brought to you by Riptide Bait and Tackle and Brigantine and the Great Bay Marina and Mystic Island. Guys, last week we were able to film a How to Surf Fish for Fluke with Bayside Dave and LBI, so keep your eyes out. We went down there and met with Dave. I actually got to see Tommy Venom. Yeah, it's nice uh, to meet Tommy. Yeah, finally. it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So we were down there filming that, so keep your eye out. Early next week we'll be dropping a How to Fish for Fluke. Uh, that's right. And we got our contest uh, for this, uh, actually, the past month of June to get announced the winner for. And also, it's a new month, so that means our fluke contest is restarting. So make sure you guys are sending us in your reports. The biggest fluke in the month of July will win a prize. We'll bring you the prize either next week, week after. We'll see. But we'll let you guys know what you win, but make sure you're sending there us in your There is a prize. Report. Don't worry. <laughs> there yeah. will be a prize. Yes. <laughs> there will be a prize. Uh, but, okay, we got our winner for the, uh, this June fluke contest. And sorry, Tucker. Not you, man. For the second month in a row, we had somebody sneak in right under the wire. We got Andrew Holla and his dad went off Belmar and were able to land a two-man limit with the biggest one caught by Mystery Holla, a 26-inch, six-and-a-half-pound wow. monster. Just half-inch bigger than than, uh, than Tucker's. Really Snuck s- right in there and took it away. Right, just right. I think it actually was June 30th, I think, was the day that, <laughs> that we got that report. So really sorry about that, Tucker. Tucker but uh, they caught their fish uh, using on uh, jigs and gulp with sea uh, robin belly strips. Uh, so congratulations, Mr. Ihala. Uh, make sure you reach out to us with your um, contact info. We will get your gift cards sent out to you. Uh, now we have uh, this one's contest, and we are starting off with a tough fish to beat. John Spiro checked in for the first time this year. He landed a 25 and a half inch, six pound beast uh, out in the ocean, which would have taken June's contest uh, yeah. by weight. So uh, make sure you guys are weighing those fish too, because that's a tiebreaker. Yeah, that's a, that's gonna be a tough one to beat. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a lot. tough one. Uh, he went out of Little Lake Inlet. Uh, he caught it on a gulp six uh, white glow gulp six inch grub with a squid and minnow combo. Uh, he was able to land uh, a bushel of crabs as well, so good to see some crabs get into the uh, report here. Uh, sticking the Great Bay, Abe Kim went out uh, to the clam stakes and landed uh, this 19-inch keeper using a uh, gulp pink shine mullet. Uh, then Jennifer and Dylan Mallory uh, went out to buoy marker 129 in the Great Bay and landed uh, these two slot fish. One was 17, the other was 17 and a half. Uh, they were using gulp nuclear chicken and squid. Uh, they were also able to land several shorts on spearing. Uh, then Bill Fisher took his brother-in-law Jay out on the Great Bay on the 4th of July and landed 17 fluke with four nice keepers. Uh, all fish were caught on bucktails, tipped with gulp, and Bill said the, uh, the hot color of the day was chartreuse. Then we have Michael. Uh, he's been uh, out just about chasing just about everything that swims in the Great Bay. He landed this 25-inch drum. Uh, this is the second drum off of Graveling Point using clams. Uh, then he was able to get out on his dad's boat and land a 22 and a 17-and-a-half-inch fluke using an uh, ounce-and-a-half pink-and-white spro bucktail with nuclear chicken. And get this, okay, it was, it was, there was a teaser of raw bacon. Raw bacon. I, I tell you, that's the first one. I've never heard of raw bacon before, uh, but it worked. So, Michael, keep at it. And I'm all about you know thinking outside the box. Uh, then later this past week, he was able to get out off Brigantine Jetty and land his 10-pound, 33-inch bluefish on the incoming tide. Uh, he was demonstrating to his dad how to cast a bait caster uh, when this monster grabbed onto his mag darter right at the rocks. Uh, then we had the Pancos family, who was out, uh, went out of the Great Bay. Nicholas, Liliana, Lucas, and Grace had a great time catching some shorts and one keeper caught by their dad, Matt. Lucas was also able to pull on his monster skate. They were using white gulp and minnows. And again, it's always good to see the kids out there. So Nicholas, Liliana, Lucas, and Grace, keep sending us your reports. Heading north up to Sandy Hook, Jared, Rajon, and Deshaun had themselves a heck of a day. They landed 48 fluke with a three-man limit, the largest one being 22 inches and four and a half pounds. They were all caught using a five-inch tiger jerk shad with a half-ounce jig head. Matt, I tell you what, what a 48 fluke. That, that, that's an awesome day on the water. get tired of pulling in fluke. <laughs> I don't, that's, so. I don't think so. But, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a lot of fish. Uh, heading back down south, Fred Mace was fishing behind Harris near Brigantine. Uh, he was trolling the sod banks during slack tide using topwater plugs, and he was able to catch several stripers. All right, and I got Daniel. He was fishing the rocks near Brigantine. He was targeting trigger fish, and it paid off. He was able to land this nice trigger fish. He also went out later fishing the jetty, got this nice striper. Uh, Tommy Venom had back-to-back sod bank slams in the Great Bay. He caught these two nice fluke using a half-ounce S&S bucktail and a spearing teaser. Uh, Joey Ackerman caught this 22-inch wiki in the Great Bay uh, by the Stinkhouse. Uh, he was using a white gulp. 
And Kevin Smith and his son were on vacation last week. They fished the uh, the Axel Carson and the Seagret Reef. They caught over 80 fish during the week vacation. Uh, so that was a nice week. Heck of a vacation. Yeah, yeah everything, no, no, from, <laughs> everything from fluke to sea bass, even a couple of ling fish. So it uh, sounds like a great vacation. Uh, we got Frankie Panisi. She was fishing Story Island in Little Egg Harbor. She landed this nice 23 and a quarter inch fluke. She was using an orange gulp. And Carl Chen was out with Carl Hartman, uh, Matt, and James Witt fishing uh, Barnegat Inlet in the north side of the jetty at Island Beach State Park. They landed a few keepers, a striper, and this giant sea robin. So it looks like they had a, a fun time fishing. They were using gulp and killies. J- Tony Walters was fishing. Uh, was surf fishing Seaside Park when he landed this 19-inch fluke. He was using a high-low rig with a bucktail on the bottom and a chartreuse gr- uh, gulp grub on top. He said this fluke hit the gulp right at uh, about 10 feet from the beach, so right up close there. Uh, so, guys, always be careful. Make sure you're, you're always working that thing all the way That's in. That's right. That's right. Yeah, don't, don't cheat it. Yeah. Um, and then Carrie Lunds was fishing Sandy Hook using a tied right flute rig with a gulp on the top hook and a spearing on the bottom. She's, she landed this fat 20-inch fluke. Uh, she said the fluke just inhaled the spearing. And we got Dennis uh, Hubler and his son were spear fishing uh, at the wrecks off of Brigantine and LBI. Dennis said the, the bottom was just blanketed with fluke. He said there were a lot down there, but the water temperatures were cold, so they're real sluggish. So his son was able to get some nice target practice in, landed a couple nice, uh, landed, I guess he actually like yeah. uh, speared Spear, a couple right. nice flukes. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for your support. Uh, make sure you send us your report, and uh, good luck on the water. Yeah, good luck, everybody.